Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Uh, today, I'm going to be reacting to uh, the title track from Spirit Box's debut album, Eternal Blue. Now, I'm super excited to listen to this song uh, in particular because I think uh, Courtney said it was her favourite um, song on that album. I may be slightly um, misquoting a bit. It was some, something like that. Maybe it had like, one of her favourite parts or something. So I'm excited to give this a listen. Um, I do know that Eternal Blue... Uh, is actually, uh, they named the album and evidently this song after uh, Eternal Blue, which was a computer virus developed by uh, the US National Security Agency, I think, which is so cool. So I'm wondering if the lyrics to do uh, with this song are going to be something about, like, you know, getting in, in, infected and uh, taken over and stuff, like some kind of virus analogy. But whatever they do with this song, it's going to slap. I've reacted to all the previous songs on the album if you want to go check them out. And not a single one has been anything less than stellar. So I'm sure that trend is going to carry on with uh, Eternal Blue. And it's four minutes long, so it's a bit of a longer song. You love to see it. That just means even more amazing content for me to react to. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. See what uh, Courtney and the guy have got to offer this time. Immediately a more calm start than um, Silk in the Strings, bro. That had my ears back bleeding. Courtney's vocals are so good. I mean, her clean vocals are amazing, but the range she has, bro, she can do like super high note, clean, super low notes. And then she does the whole like scream range as well. She has like her normal, normal kind of uh, typical scream. And then she has those really guttural ones and those like disgusting like um, growls as well, man. She is just unreal. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's so deep, bro. I was saying, I wish my blood would slow down. Bro, I don't think you want that. I think you need to see a medical professional if your blood pressure gets that, gets that low. <laughs> She's saying that uh, this person keeps speeding her blood up, I think. Unless I'm completely mishearing it. But she was saying um, something about all that's left of her is a cavity or something like that, which is deep. But at least that space is hers. That's so sad. But also, these lyrics are popping off. Let's keep going. An eternal blue sun to illuminate all wounds. Maybe they're not talking about uh, the virus in this song. Maybe they've used eternal blue to mean something else. But damn, these lyrics are... Uh, I mean, this song is given... It's kind of a more... I don't know how to describe it. A more, like, open song. It's not as, like, crammed in with, like, heavy riffs and everything. It's more, like, slow and uh, there's there's more space in between each, um, each riff and... Uh, I think it's giving Courtney the space to kind of open up her vocals a bit and do all kinds of different ranges and different um, styles and it's really working like the, these cleans are like I, I just think they're incredible oh, 
Drummer needs to calm down, he's going off. Bro, the drummer, the drummer is absolutely going in. Oh, oh I feel like I'm taking a dark turn now. I can, I can hear like those haunting like, um, how do I describe those sounds? Like haunting like kind of whistling sounds in the background. Sounds like a bit like a creaky door, like very slowly opening, bro. Let's go. Genty. Yes, Mike. Even this bit of a solo, you don't hear this much from Spirit Box. I know I've just talked about it, but Courtney is just, it, her vocals are incredible. She's got to have one of the, like, the best, like, ranges from any artist, like, ever, man. She is going in on this song. So that was Eternal Blue by Spirit uh, Spirit Bots, the the title track on their newly released album. Um, what do I think of it, man? That was so good. That was so good. Like it was a breath of fresh air compared to a lot of the other songs on the album. It was kind of more open, gave Courtney room to breathe on her vocals. Yet still, like towards the end of that song, like probably just going into the second half, the guitars came in heavier. The drums, man, I don't really talk about the drum much, but he was popping off on this song. Uh, Bill, the bassist as well, he was going in. So despite it being kind of a more softer song, um, the instruments were like popping off in the background. Uh, yeah, in terms, of, in terms of breaking down the lyrics, I didn't really do that much in this song, but... You know, all that's left of me is a cavity, at least the space is mine. I think it was kind of like a sad song, really. A sad song, but kind of maybe a, a song about acceptance. Like all this all this stuff that's that's happened to me, but now I've like I'm kind of accepting what's going on. But that's just the vibe I get from also the like the the tone of the song. It's like it sounded like that the the kind of the atmosphere it was given off was like one of acceptance, you know what I mean? Not like anger, there wasn't like so super thrashy guitars and everything. But that's just, that's probably a reach because I didn't really catch many of the lyrics that time either. But um, a banger, a banger as always. Spirit Box, do you just, do you just not miss? Do you find it impossible to miss? Because you don't be missing on this album, especially you don't be missing on God. Um, but that's just my opinion uh of this song uh let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments uh like and subscribe if you feel so inclined it helps out a lot plus you get to stay up to date with uh, my reactions to the rest of the tracks on eternal blue i've already reacted to uh sun killer uh yellow jacket the summit silk in the strings uh I, damn, that was just yesterday previously i've reacted to the previously released singles like hurt you and Secret Garden and, and those songs. So if you if you if you like what you see here, go and check those out and stay tuned for more. But until then I will see you in the next video. Peace.